On today's video, I'm going to take you along with me and show you how I created this beautiful cat panel for Miss Linda Hudson. Welcome back to Adrian for Israel. I decided I want to start a new series on this channel called Work With Me Wednesdays. And on Wednesdays, I'm going to take you along with me to show you how I do some of my graphic designs. Today, we're looking at a cap panel. A cap panel is the insert within a casket. Today, this lovely lady that I'm designing for her name is Miss Linda Hudson and if you notice when the video started I had already started creating the cat panel and I forgot to press the record button so I had to go back and take the eyeballs off and then just put them back on but right now you can see that I'm trying to figure out if wings on this is gonna look right or not and the placement of it and just a lot of stuff so let's just watch and see what happens I think I should add to that a cat panel is a relatively small space so you don't want to have too much wording on these cat panels because it makes it look jumbled up and cluttered. So on this cat panel is simply her name, her birthday, her transition date, and then above her name later in the video, you'll see me add a heading above her name. So as you can see, I didn't quite like the other angel wings that I had put on there. So I grabbed another set to play around with those to see if I liked it better. I quickly decided that I did not like it better. So I went back to the ones in the beginning to work more with the look and placement. Graphic designs is all about your vision you have in mind. Everybody's vision is something different. Someone else would have taken the same images and the same wording and maybe laid them out a little bit different than the way I did, but there's no right or wrong to graphic design. I am the owner of Graceful Designs Graphics. I create a lot of obituaries, cat panels, and retractable banners for different businesses and organizations. It's not a gift that I went to school for. Doing this was a God-given gift. It was just something that over the years, over the nine years that I've been in business, that I've picked up. And some of what I've picked up has been via YouTube University. I think y'all all know about YouTube University. Um, and it's just been something that has generated extra income for my family the extra income that I've generated from my business 
I have also given back to the community silently, helping others, donating to um, feeding the homeless, food drives that some organizations have done in the past. At this point, I'm scrolling through different blending options to see the best look for the wings, you know. You'll see, just look. Getting ready to move on to that header that is going to go above her name. The header reads, In God's Hands. I'm changing the font, making it bigger, and deciding that wasn't big enough, so doing it again plan around to get the best look and placement for these words. Here, I went back to the funeral obituary itself to pick up some blending options to copy and paste it on here. Just because I like to make everything cohesive. If I'm doing funeral programs and a cat panel, best believe it's gonna be cohesive. You're not gonna look at one thing and it's all the way to the left and then get the obituary and it's all the way to the right no you want to have it cohesive it just gives a kind of upscale vibe in my opinion to make it look cohesive so a lot of times if I'm doing a cat panel and an obituary I'm gonna go back to the obituary to grab elements of it whether it is um, color scheme blending options, drop down shadow or something because I don't want to keep pulling it up. I just want to get the same thing that I have on the other work to put it on the new work to make it be cohesive. And sometimes it takes a little, a little time to get the finished product just the way you want it. Here I'm going in trying to see how I can brighten it a little bit. Different angles that may work. I'm sliding the picture from left to right to try to get the right placement or what I've deemed as right in my eye, the look that I'm looking for. And y'all, the obituary, the outside, the front, and the back, it's beautiful. This was an eight page obituary full of beautiful pictures and memories of Miss Hudson and her family and friends. A life captured by love.
if you're watching this channel, let me know if you also do graphic design work. Let's talk. Let's connect. You may be able to teach me something I don't know, and I may be able to show you something that I know. Leave your comments below. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to Adrian for Israel, please consider subscribing. Here is the original picture that I started off with. Beautiful purple carnations. I just simply manipulated this picture, which really I just stretched it to make it larger and make it work for my obituary design and also my cat panel. So this is the finished product of this beautiful cat panel. I hope you enjoyed watching this work with me Wednesdays and there will be one every Wednesday. Stay tuned. <laughs>